Hello guys, in today's video I want to show you different variations of uh, Crashpad tricks. So yeah, let's get into it. First of all, the crash dash. You can actually do it without anything inside your box and from any direction. You just need to run a bit before placing the crash pad. So the variation here is the Dorito dash. You can actually do this from 45 to 44 meters away. You have to carefully place yourself between 44 and 45 now you need to line up with your ping then you need to make the blue line go to the middle between the two white lines If you haven't already noticed that, uh, each wall is facing a direction. So if you want to line up with the corner diagonally, you need to face southwest, southeast, northwest or northeast. You can also do this trick with the cone above you and uh, it can help you line up your uh, crash pad. So this will help you uh, attack from different angles where you are not expected. For the crash lift, you can just add the stair and do a mongrel classic from below. When done really fast, this is what your opponent should see. That's why you need to place a stair first or your opponent will escape. For the popcorn, you need to throw just like that and uh, your opponent won't be able to avoid it because he has to be under the cone. So just throw right on the edge above the wall. They won't be able to build for a short period of time. If you dive normally, you won't be able to pull out your shotgun in time. You need to use a wall and stand right over here so you cannot get edited down. Throw where there is this rope right here. And then you can replace or uh, dive in. If you don't want to stand on the corner and you want to dive, you need to aim right here. With the brick wall, it's uh, just on this hole. And with the middle one, you need to aim between the nails. Obviously, if you aim higher, you will have a lot of time to sneak a shot in. So start always by replacing the cone, then the wall, so you can uh, confuse your opponent. For the counter, it's pretty simple. You just need to build the floor. That's why I'm using always two walls, so that I can face through the cone. 
always start by replacing the floor first. So that if your opponent builds a cone, you can still edit your floor and get inside their box. So I went in game to measure the distances. For the fifth zone, the diameter is 200 meters. If you want to go from edge of the zone to the 50-50 zone, it will be 150 meters. And uh, for the zone before removing, it's a 100 meter zone. So all the fin hops I've already showed you will be easy to use in those zones. Here's an example uh, of rotation. And you can see I do not get shot once. You can reuse a pad with just a crash pad and get an easy rotation like that. You can see uh, someone trying to use it will have to break through three layers in your box before using your pad. So this is what your opponent will see. And you're already far away. If it's built with metal, it will take him even more time to destroy it. Another good thing is you will never have the jump pad bug with the redeploy and you can actually land on mountain sides which you cannot do with the normal jump pad. So for the movement, here you have the crash climb. You can see my opponent does not expect me to be behind him, giving me a free shot. So, thank you for watching the video guys, see you next time.